Uh, good afternoon, everyone. My name is Siddiqui Danzo, the current chair of the African Ambassador Council. Uh, I want to say thank you uh, for this interview, and I think it's really great to be here today. I mean, today's a wonderful day. We are making history today, you know. Uh, I want to proudly say to everybody that under my leadership, today we are raising the African Union flag today in the Bronx. So uh, today's an exciting moment, and we we are more excited, you know, we want to send our gratitude to the uh, to the Bronx Borough President for her recognition of us being in the community, you know, which means a lot. And you know? so being a chair of the African Advisory Council, AAC function, uh, AAC, uh, AAC, AAC functionality is to serve as a conduit between the BP office and the community at large. So we serve as a mother organization in the BP office. If there's anything going on with anybody or anything going on in the Bronx or in the city, we wish out to able to reach out to the BP to see how best we can work that together. But she being the person she is, she able to listen to us when we told her that we need to raise the African Union flag because bronze has the higher concentration of Africa in the entire country. So being in that position and she accepted our quest and today we are raising the African Union flag. So that is part of our project. So it's an exciting moment for me. You know, I'm in the positions where I'm so excited that this is happening the first time ever in the history of the Bronx on my leadership. I'm so glad, I'm so happy, and I hope we do this every year. Always Africa. So, um, this flag here represents the independence of 54 African nations. Right. How important is it for the Africans in the diaspora to unite under this flag? It's very important. When you realize that, I think one of the common goals and the common reality that we all have been saying is unity of Africa and having all the Africa together as a team has one thing. Many, on the other hand, having Africa as a continent, continent that actually we all are. I'm saying continent, I'm saying United States of Africa. You know, the continent is being like a United States and everybody, there should be no visa, nothing, like we should have border free for everywhere. So I'm excited to see and send a message out to everybody. The model where you are, this a historical moment. Come and be part of this and let be united on this play has a unity, has a presence of getting somewhere better than we have ever been before. Look, today, you know, Sheikh Musa, I'm gonna say this to you. We are raising the African Union flag today in the Bronx. It has never happened in the history of this place. So it's an exciting moment. So this itself has a, 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 a role of unity for us to unite more and come together more as one team and make Africa proud and make our continent very proud. This year, the African Union theme for celebrating Africa Day was education. Tell us about the importance of education among the Africans in the diaspora. Just you, you just graduated from university. <laughs> I'm excited. Education is very important. But one thing I will tell you that uh, we got, we all got to understand and listen to that. Nigerian, Nigerian are the higher educated people of all immigrants in the United States. So my my competition is always if Nigeria can do it, why not everyone do it? You understand the risk competition education is very important you know when you come especially for immigrant that just moved to this country just a scenario when you come from africa and go to school in this country for the rest of your life you will not suffer for job as compared to other people they see you in different ways you have market yourself everything that student loan is so expensive for you to take student loan to go to school try not taking student loan and stay home you will live in poverty for the rest of your life. So I encourage every young people, if you decide to go to school, keep going to school, take that into consideration. Education is the key to source it. But behind the key to source it, there's a message. When you're educated, take that and bring it back to the community. Don't take the degree and hang it in your house and leave it there. So African Advisory Council achieved this historic moment. Tell us what you want the Africans in the Bronx to unite and join the African Advisory Council. Tell us how important it is. I mean, uh, there, there, I think there is a continual conversation we have always had. You know, our unity serves as a kind of point in the midst of everybody. There is a team. Africa. Africa is the only place that we have. Nobody can deport off on the continent of Africa. So with that being said, why are we live in the diaspora? Why not us make an example of how we want the continent to be? That come together has a team. You know, let's start talking about one another. If there's something that you have against somebody, face them, talk to them, you'll fix it. This is the only way we can unite. And not every country in Africa 
should come up with an organization. The AAC is here. Land News AAC has a mother organization, has a, has a, 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 a place where we can come and relate to things. If there's anything that we want to do something, we will separate a different account on the AAC so that can handle that aspect. That have one organization, that unite, that point, that serve that organization. We should not allow nobody to separate us. We are all the same. Nobody should come and tell somebody something that you believe is a reality of that person. When anybody tells you something, engage the person and not have one organization like you not be in one organization and become the best version of ourselves. La awesome. Last but not least, what do you do as a profession? So, uh, as a professional person, I got a background in fine arts. I just graduated with a master's degree in fine arts. And right now, I run my own small business. My business is called Pluto LLC. And I hold one of the uh, 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 contract in the city of New York. And I give job out to people too, people that want to work. And I uh, just been doing things as much as I want to do. And I, I won't give more details of what I'm doing, but yeah, I'm, I'm, doing, I'm doing well. I say I'm grateful to God. Thank you. Congratulations. Happy Africa it. Day. I appreciate it. Same to you. Thank, Thank you. you.